Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. I've had a lot of interest expressed over how to measure the voltage of a spark. So today I'm going to run you through my favorite method of determining voltage using nothing more than distance. Online, various figures are thrown around. From 1 kilovolt per millimeter to 10 kilovolts per inch and even 30 kilovolts per centimeter. Uh, but which one is it? Well, to find out, you just need balls of steel. Uh, I didn't, uh... <laughs> More specifically, find yourself two one-inch diameter brass or steel spheres. The diameter is important, so let me tell you why. Spark length is dependent on many variables, from pressure to temperature and even humidity of the air. But considering most of us experiment with sparks indoors, I know I do, we can assume standard temperature and pressure, which leaves the most important variable to talk about, electrode shape. Definitely the most important. Sharper electrodes like this screwdriver increase the electric field density and create longer sparks by reducing the required voltage. Rounder electrodes, like this steel ball, decrease the electric field density and produce shorter sparks by increasing the required voltage to jump the gap. As you can see here, it had to be about four inches closer. One inch spheres are important because it's the old standard agreed upon for measuring high voltage. Using the one inch standard, we now know the breakdown voltage for several materials. You'll notice air near the bottom breaks down at three kilovolts per millimeter or 30 kilovolts per centimeter. Now that you know about the standard and know how to measure high voltage, let's run through a couple of examples I have here in the lab. For starters, here is a nine kilovolt neon sign transformer it should produce a spark three millimeters in length. In reality, I'm seeing a close three and a half. And remember our 10,000 volt do-it-yourself power supply from a few episodes back? I claimed 10 to 15,000 volts. Let's test that. It should produce a spark four to five millimeters in length. And we're looking at just over four millimeters, giving us about 12 kilovolts. Lastly, here's my beloved 20 kilovolt power source. It should produce a spark just over 6 millimeters in length, but it's about 10 years old and not quite up to par. When I applied this method of measurement to my small tabletop Tesla coil, I found it outputs about 30 kilovolts. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like a DIY episode on how to build it. Honestly, it's that simple. Now, there are more accurate methods, such as using a voltage divider, but that kind of adds complexity into the issue, and I prefer simplicity. So grab yourself two metal spheres and get to work. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel, leave a like, or feel free to leave a comment. Check out our last episode, and learn how to build your own power supply. We're on Facebook, and all links are also in the description below. And we have new episodes every two to three weeks. You stay classy.